Upscaling is the process of using AI to render pixels that would otherwise have to be rendered by the GPU. So you can see this happening here. At the moment, we've got my viewport at screen percentage 100. But if I change that to 50, there's a significant degradation of the image. But if in my Unreal anti-aliasing settings, I change anti-aliasing to temporal super resolution, suddenly the image becomes clear again. And the reason for this is that within this temporal super resolution process, there's upsampling happening. So there are two main upsampling tools you can use. One is Unreal Native, the other is for NVIDIA called DLSSS, and we'll look at how to implement them with the OWL cameras. So we've already seen how to use it on the viewport. In this case, we just change the viewport screen percentage here, and then apply the upsampling method we want. We've got a choice of temporal super resolution, which is the Unreal one, or if we want to use DLSSS, and we go to plugins and ensure that we've got the DLSS plugins installed. You can find them on the Unreal Marketplace. And then in project settings, we go DLSS and we ensure that these are ticked. So enable DLSS, DLLA in viewport and in play and editor if you're doing play and editor. So that's how we use it on the viewport. Now for our cameras, it's really just as simple. So if we pick, for example, the Owl Cinecam. In the details panel, you will find a new section. So we have our Cinecam, off world Live Capture Settings, and we have this new section in Advanced called Enable Upscaling. And when this is ticked, it enables you to select this screen percentage. So at the moment you can see I'm rendering a 2K texture and I've got about 30 frames a second with the viewport switched on so I'm sure I could switch this to wireframe to push that up a bit and that's with screen percentage at 70. Now if I untick this we can see that's fallen now to about 20 frames a second. Switch it back on and that goes up to 31.32. So it enables an enormous performance difference. Now you can play around with how this works for you from a visual perspective. Upsampling will have some impact on, for instance, the sharpness of text or things like that. But in truth, you can't always tell the difference. And also you can sometimes increase the screen percentage without having a huge impact on performance. So we can see here, even though I've increased from 70 to 80, I'm still running at about 30 frames a second. And visually, it's pretty difficult to tell the difference. DLSS does seem to have an additional impact on frame rates in a positive sense, even if the upsampling is at 100. So, for example, at 100 here, I've got 26 frames a second with DLSS on, and then just 20 frames a second if DLSS is off. And that's because I'm using, in this case, the temporal super resolution rather than the DLSS. So, even if you're running at a full scale, I mean, this is only a 2070 laptop, so it's not very performant. If you start running at 3090s or 4090s, you'll see an even more enormous difference. But even if you want to run at a full screen percentage, there's still a value of enabling DLSS because it has this enhanced performance difference. You'll see this enable upscaling in all the OWL tools. So we've got Cinegam. You can find it also in the 360 camera here. So that's again an advanced enable upscaling. And if we have one, we can 
we add it you can also find it in the owl cg element and so that's again enable up sampling here 